friend, welcome to Chrysalis Chats. Like a caterpillar to a butterfly, I help people metamorphosize their diets and lifestyles to be plant-based. My name is Tanya, and this is your seven-day week, that's every single day, source for vegan inspiration and how-tos. Today, we're chatting about why you might want to consider preserving some food for the winter. If you're a plant-based person, we're talking about why this is a good idea and some of the different benefits around that. So if that's something that interests you, be sure to stay tuned for the whole video. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, uh, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and put a comment down below. You can even let me know a specific video you would like to see. I would love to respond to your comment with a video. So with that said, let's get into it. The first thing to consider when you're thinking about whether or not it's a good idea for you to preserve food for the season is do you enjoy your fresh vegetables, okay? So if you're a vegan or you're working to transition to incorporate even more plants into your diet, you're probably somebody who likes vegetables already or understands their nutritional value and is working to incorporate even more of them, right? So it's easy to kind of draw the conclusion that you should probably consider preserving some fresh vegetables or fruits, as it may be, for the winter season. And you know, that's really something to consider if you're thinking about making sure your diet's as nutritious and as wholesome and as nourishing as possible in the colder months where there's really not a lot of access to fresh, you know, produce that's actually you know, fresh. It hasn't been sitting around on a shelf for literally months before it got to you or in a freezer before it got to you, um, but rather it was something that you know was at the peak of freshness when you preserved it and is in your freezer. That's kind of the logic. Uh, you can also use canning to preserve your food, not only freezing, you know, like I just alluded to, but you can actually can your produce. Um, that's an amazing way to preserve produce because you're going to be just... I think of, you know, when I think of that, I think of canned tomatoes. And if you ever had a canned tomato, and I'm not talking about the can that you would get from the grocery store, but like a canned, like in a jar that you would can at home or somebody else would can at home. When I think of that, it is so flavorful and so delicious. And just, you know, you can feel the sun-kissed foods in that jar in your mouth when you eat it, right? Like it's something you feel like, wow, this was really fresh. You can tell the difference. It was fresh when it was created, you know? So um, when, it, the, when the product, when the, the vegetable or fruit was preserved, you know, it was really fresh at that point. So it translates into the taste no matter when you're trying it, as long as it's still good and the button hasn't, you know, gone up on it. So um, with that said, you know, that's definitely something to consider uh, is the freshness of the produce and also the nutritional value of the produce and really just developing a more intimate relationship with your food. That would be kind of the next reason I would give just because, you know, if you preserve something yourself, whether you're blanching your greens and freezing them, which I'm going to have a how-to video probably tomorrow on that. So be sure to stay tuned. If that interests you, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step with visuals how I personally went about This has been that. your quick overview of why you'd want to preserve food this autumn and winter season. In short, it's going to give you a lot better tasting food that's a lot more nutritious throughout the cooler months that you just don't have access to that other fresh produce. So with that said, my friend, be sure to support this channel. Thank you so much for the love. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and put a comment down below letting me know what you want to see on Chrysalis Chats because your opinion matters. With that said, whether you're just starting off as a tiny little caterpillar, like where are the leaves at, or you're a full-fledged butterfly sipping the nectar of a plant-based diet, you, my friend, are awesome. Have a blessed day. Bye.